Warning, this title isn't clickbait. OpenAI's first real robot is coming to you very, very soon. If you look at this, you can see that Norway's 1x raised $23.5 million and an OpenAI lead round. In other words, OpenAI just invested and is the leader of an investment round for a previously owned robotics company that used to focus on security and is now building a custom robot that will be focused on integrating AI technology into real physical robots. We'll get the first demo or reveal of this physical robot with AI features in three to four months. This is crazy news because I thought we were many years away from this and you can see that right here on the page. If you like these kind of videos, please like this video for us, it really helps out the algorithm. It also says AI embodiment and it also says that our newest Android version, Mio, will look at how artificial intelligence can be put into a body like human. If we look further on this page, we can see that four companies are working with this new robotics company. There's ADT Commercial, which is a security company, a finance company called Tiger Global NVIDIA Company, which everyone knows makes the chips that run the software, and last but not least, there's OpenAI, which is the only company on the partner list that actually makes large language models. So it's clear that when this company wants to put their large language model on a robot, OpenAI has chosen this company. I might be getting ahead of myself here, but I'm pretty sure that this is what OpenAI is going to do. When they want to turn their chat GPT or big language model like GPT-4 or GPT-5 into physical robots that can deal with the real world. I have to be open and say that I didn't think AI would go from big language models to real robots so quickly. Just in the summer. Definitely pretty fast. You can see right here that 1X is thrilled to have OpenAI lead this round because our missions are the same. To thoughtfully integrate new technology into people's daily lives. With the help of our investors, we will continue to make big steps forward in the field. The CEO and founder of the company said that they want to use robotics to improve the global labor market. Later in this video, I'll show you how good their previous robots were, and they were pretty good. They also talked about how they need to put these androids to work in the real world. Playing with our wheeled Android Eve at a level of commercial skill that has never been seen before gives us a unique understanding of the challenges and opportunities that the robotics community has yet to address. If androids are going to work in our world, they need to experience it, and we already know that with GPT-4's multimodal design capabilities. This can definitely come into fruition, and it can definitely power these robots. Now let's take a look at what these robots might look like based on some of the models they've made in the past, and what they've done in the past. We got a taste of some of the new tools we've been hearing about. If we look at their YouTube channel, we can see that some of the robots that are very good at what they do were released and were doing things years ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, these robots were moving very effectively in the real world. Many different ways to help people in many different situations, and right now you can see how well these robots do their daily jobs. This is pretty shocking for someone who didn't know much about AI before because we can see what these robots can do. Now keep in mind that these robots are powered by a different system that we don't know much about. However, since ChatGPT is so much more powerful, I'm guessing that if these robots are going to be powered by ChatGPT, they will be some of the best robots on the planet. With GPT-4's multimodal skills, where it can look at picture and know exactly what's going on, it will be very interesting to see what it can't do. Now, it will be interesting to see when this is actually going to come out. We know from the homepage that they said it would come out in the summer of 2023. I think this will just be a live demo. Where it will be on the stage and they will show off this robot, which has happened many times before. It will be interesting to see if it will be driven by chat GPT-3, 3.5 or chat GPT-4. As the AI race heats up, OpenAI is now looking to deploy that multimodal capability. This is why you guys need to know that other companies are also in this race. For example, let's take a look at Tesla's robot. TeslaBot, which was just announced at Tesla's AI Day, is a robot that works and is reportedly powered by AI too. This is tough competition for Tesla and OpenAI as well as Google, which we'll talk about later because they also have their multimodal AI. That is driven by their biggest language model to date. It does things that we didn't think we'd see for many years. What's also really cool is that you can see the strangely similar looks of these AI models. Let's take a look at this model. This model looks a lot like the first one, and it's also an AI-powered walking robot. This one is powered by NVIDIA's Jetson Xavier AI, which uses a variety of sensors and GPS models to interact with its surroundings. This is really interesting because it just shows how much AI can do. Leave a comment below of who you think will win the AI race. When OpenAI finally releases this robot with this company called 1X, I'm not sure if they'll do this in the summer. Based on what we're hearing, there might be some delays because so many people are calling for the slowdown of AI, but it does show us what to expect. 
It would be interesting to see how GPT-5 works in its first physical robot. It looks a lot like the One X and the Tesla board, and they all have the same head chip. It will be interesting to see how these companies try to beat each other. Even though there was a recent report and an AI petition, the race is not slowing down. What's interesting is that I thought OpenAI would follow the same path as Google. You can see right here that this is a Google robot interacting with the environment. This is powered by Google's unreleased Palm E large language model, which interacts with the environment in a very interesting way. It knows exactly what's going on, can do multiple tasks, and can respond even if someone else interrupts the current task. This is a very smart language model that can do many different tasks, which would actually happen in real life. What was really cool about this big language model by Google was that it could do tasks that it hadn't been taught on before. These were visual tasks that it had to do. Even though it was doing things that it had never done before, it did them with a high degree of accuracy. In the video, it was just getting a bag of chips for a person, but these robots can do much more. Here, you can see that Palm E can do many different things. Like I said, this is what I thought OpenAI would do, but they surprised me this time by not following Google's lead. They don't just want one-armed robots that can do specific tasks, it seems like they really want to be able to deploy robots that can do a lot of different things. And it seems like they want it to be powered by GPT-5 or GPT-4. Keep in mind that it is the only company on the partnership area that has a large language model. So if this comes out in the summer of 2023, it could be one of the biggest game changer ever. It will be not only the world's largest and most powerful language model, but also one of the fastest, best, and most versatile robots we've ever seen. If you've seen robots from a few years ago, you can imagine what kind of technology it'll have now. Especially with the help of OpenAI, NVIDIA, and Tiger Global, this is going to be massive. Keep in mind that these robots are doing things that aren't controlled by chat GPT's multimodal input. So while you're watching this, this was probably ran by a less powerful model. And if we get something more powerful, it will be interesting to see how precise and accurate it is. There could be some fails, but I doubt it, since OpenAI has a history of destroying the competition in every game it has played. Not only will they have the smartest robot on the market, but they might also have the most agile one. It seems like a market leader is emerging and being put at the top right now, and the OpenAI might become one of the most popular robots. Did you think AI would change this quickly? I didn't. People were scared when they saw Boston Dynamics do crazy things, but it wasn't powered by such a large, powerful language model. Boston Dynamics had to be trained many times on that specific task, and many times it would fail. This large language model, which is ChatGPT and GPT-4, does excel much more consistently, so it will be interesting to see what happens in summer 2023. I don't see why they wouldn't use the multimodal output they've been working on for so long on something other than this robot. I forgot to mention that they don't have many followers on Twitter, they only have 2,000 followers and they don't get many retweets. They did, however, retweet this tweet where someone said, Lots of great hype about the large multimodal models right now, but do we get to trillions of tokens for embodied actions? Which basically means, when do we get actions that are embodied in the real physical world? They actually retweeted this talking about multimodal models, which is of course a reference to chat GPT's new multimodal model, so this is certainly a sign towards something. This is a teaser on their website about what we might see in the summer of 2023. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any updates. Also ring the bell notifications. I'll see you all in the next video.